Hi guys, welcome back to Creating With Mimi. Today's video is all about bathroom makeovers. We're gonna go through the ABCs of how you can turn your space from this dated old bathroom to something fabulous that looks like this. Let's get into it. We're going to start this off with removing the walls and the installation. This is going to be finished with some scratch paper and concrete area. Then we're going to remove that surface platform that was next to the bathtub. And I believe the builders use that to house the original plumbing, but all of this plumbing has to be moved out for our standalone tub. So we're gonna start doing that. And this is the image of jackhammering the floor, removing that hot and water line for the plumbing so that we can have it all ready for our new tub. Guys, remember this window was very, very small in this bathroom, and this is a primary bathroom. So I wanted to install a larger picture window so that when the client is in her new standalone tub, she can look out into the garden area and totally enjoy. All of the plumbing has been taken care of. The water protector barrier, which we call hot mop, has already been installed. So we're just going to get ready pretty much for a tile. The floor has been demoed and I'm getting totally excited about this project because it's coming together. So guys, there were two bathrooms in this project. So we're gonna go over and I'm gonna show you guys the second bathroom that we actually completed. Um, it's a smaller bathroom with these beautiful red walls. It's uh, somewhat dated and it's got the tin light overhead light fixture at the top. There is a divider between the shower and the sink area. I wanted to remove it, but the client elected to have it remain so that she can still have some sense of privacy. Yes, you see it, the dated shower curtain. We are going to take care of that. So the shower area has been completely demoed. We've applied scratch paper and we're getting ready to install the concrete in this area. And then after that, guys, we will be completely ready to towel these walls. This bathroom reveal turned out amazing. Love the dark frame mirror, the white countertops. We painted out those cabinets, um, added gorgeous faucets. These are like state of the art and the chrome faucet in the shower area. I love the square contemporary shape to this bathroom faucet. Cabinet pulls were added to the cabinets with a loose site finish wallpaper was added just to give it a punch of color. You guys remember what this bathroom looked like before. Oh, but what a difference a day makes. This new shower is amazing, guys. Love the tile on the back wall. It has a scroll pattern. The tub was removed and it is a completely shower, floor to ceiling shower area with a different tile on the floor. In the primary bath, we're almost ready for install day. Uh, the plumbing needs to be in place. We've got the picture window installed. The tub is installed. Um, the tile is installed. We're just waiting on the cabinet doors to be complete. On install day, guys, I like to call this a orchestrated chaos, but it turns out amazing. I will work closely with the contractors on this day. We will be installing drapery, light fixtures, wallpaper on any given day. Most of these detailed things are done in one day, uh, and the finished product is absolutely amazing. Thank you. 
by far, this is one of my absolute favorite bathrooms. I love the standalone tub, the colors with the blue and the silver, and then this drop dead gorgeous light fixture. It is so unexpected and it is amazing. This chandelier is an oversized chandelier and it is unexpected in a bathroom, but it just adds the right touch for this particular client. She loves Tiffany and this bathroom says yes. In the shower area, guys, I've talked about this a couple of times in terms of mixing up your tiles, having something that's a focal point, adding a different tile on the floor and the sidewalls. It just keeps a bathroom interesting um, and so that it doesn't have a boring and it does not get boring. I love the chrome rain head shower with the chrome fixtures on the side added a chrome drain as well. We enlarged this shower about maybe three to four inches. This crawfoot tub is a standalone and it's something that the client has wanted for some time. We decided to add chrome bath fixtures with that. She will be soaking in the tub underneath the chandelier enjoying this bathroom completely with her new countertops. I love the faucets and the flow water, the way the water's gonna flow out of there, the square sinks. This bathroom was such a punch list of delight. Guys, if you have an opportunity to add a picture window over a bathtub or in any area of your house, I recommend that you totally do it. It is so worth every single penny. It just expands the space and it just makes it look amazing. An enormous amount of light is brought through, guys. I've placed a pattern rug out of tile on the floor, so that makes it interesting. She doesn't necessarily have to have a rug because her pattern's already there. Icing on the cake would be this drapery system and it is motorized. So she just presses a button when she wants complete privacy and it's so convenient for any client. So you guys can consider these things as well. Put all of your drapery, whether it is panels or your wood blinds on a motorized rod. This final bathroom outcome is amazing. I absolutely love it. I love all the textures and the fabrics, the picture window, the tub. You guys can take some of these same ideas and incorporate those in your next bathroom project. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content and related to fashion, lifestyle, or decor, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you join the family. Until next time, make every day a great day.